We're looking for concretions to use on succulent arrangements. Gorgeous, hey! Look at this one. That beautiful, and that one too. Nice flat area, so I can drill a hole in there and put another piece of beautiful rockery. Say, you could imagine it something like that, and succulent growing on it. Okay, so we go. Can you imagine that with a succulent? I could. Look at that. Ah, oh, look at all the holes in it that a succulent can grow in. Hello there. My name is Liz, a self-confessed succulent addict. Welcome to my channel growing succulents. Walls detecting over there. Need a car and nice holy ones. <laughs> Perfect for succulents. You look at that. It's a pity that broke but that would have been good as a whole but I'll see if this one is any good. Oh that's still good. Look at that. That will break off. That one we might as well break that off. Even that one that looks pretty weird. The little hole there. Oh my goodness. Should I bring you? That would sit nicely on a table. With look, nice and flat. With that rock on the end so you can have a little Mendoza, drop to petal Mendoza sort of growing on the side there that would actually look really dreamy and that one is like a stepping thing that would look nice with I don't know but they all look nice so but I have to be selective because I'm limited to what I can carry it's because of the weight of the car so we're about 1600 kilometers away from home and the car can only take so much so we don't want to break down uh, on the road going back home because of my rocks i don't want to move the camera too much because i get excited and i tend to wishy-washy the camera everywhere but anyway so i'll go look over there But it's shallow. Ooh, that one's standing up. Hang on. Ooh, it's a bit hard. See, look, that would be good. That's beautiful. Look at that. The, the patterns, and even this one. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Should I bring you? Hey, should I take you? Yeah, he'd be a good background for something. Even that one. Check out this interesting one. Oh, look at that. That looks so interesting. That would make a nice swimming pool for my succulents. And that one too. Look at that, so many beautiful rocks. Check out this little fairy rock for my succulent. Look at that, it's got a window. Imagine a little fairy looking out in the window there, huh? Cute, hey? Call it a sleepy tiger rock. Look, see, there's a tiger over here. So that would be an interesting rock to put in the succulents. Look at this beautiful puppy dog one. Well, it looks like a puppy dog to me, but we'll dig it out. I think it's a little bit big. Ah! Look at that, huh? Are you going to be pretty in my garden? Oh, look at that one. That's interesting. Heavy, probably weighs about two kilos. Oh my goodness, oh, I wish you're gold. <laughs> I will carry you, but you're not gold. But we'll take it because I like the formation. Look at that, gorgeous. Are you a puppy dog or a dragon? 
call you Z Dragon Rock. Oh, look at that. That would be pretty for my little tiny succulent. Look at that. That'd be gorgeous. That'd be gorgeous for succulents. Anything that's sort of a holy like that. It's got character. Especially this one. If the hole is deep enough, I keep it. But this one, hang on. Are you deep enough? No. Because it's quite heavy. So that's probably about 300 and 80 grams is almost the heavy rocks these concretions so we leave you there we try and find something bijou small but perfectly formed and what i'm looking for here are structures or concretions with structures or architectural structures like see these ones here see look at that isn't that beautiful so that would look really nice place in a succulent arrangement it will give the succulent a little bit more character and even this one here look at that not that gorgeous that's just concretions on the other side look at that got quartz in it but maybe there might even be gold in it so who knows but i'm keeping this ones to put in the succulents uh, my husband would call this an ugly rock but to me it, it's not really what you have it's what you do with it so to me I see that even those tiny holes there so that's you can put a little bit of succulent in there even that that would look gorgeous small pieces of succulents see look at the ground see what attracts me to them are the odd unusual pieces even though it seems like there's a lot here it's very difficult to find one that i particularly like like well that one is good because now there's a bit of cavity so that little hole there so it will sit like that and i can put some succulent in that cavity there so that one's honeycomb it would look nice but then again it'll be too heavy so i'll have to find something a little bit different so this rock just seems to speak to me as well. It's like, okay, find me and then leave me. And that's a big enough cavity to put the succulent as well. The flies, I mean, if you can see me, look. My veil, hello. See the flies? It's just on, without a veil, it's just impossible to be here. So, okay, even this one's here. So if you have a small pot that would sit nicely as a structure that will tower over the succulent, look at that, isn't that beautiful? That's interesting, it's got character. So it's something that you don't see every day, especially if you live in the city, like I do. So when we head out into the country where I can explore, this is actually a gold area, or a lot of people come here to look for gold. <gasps> Oh my goodness, look at this one. Oh, see that one is interesting. So look at that. Okay, is there, no, there's no one living down there. Okay, so look at that, that beautiful. Oh my goodness, look at that. Wow, there you are. Beautiful, beautiful piece, look at that. Oh, love all the moss. Those moss actually stay on the rock. So, because I've taken a couple of them home from this area and they did grow. They grew some more moss on them. So that's a keeper. Now you, are you pretty enough? Sometimes I feel bad because I have to leave some behind. Look, that's a little grotto. Can you be a little grotto? But then anyway, no, I can find some. No, you want to be left here. Okay, I'll leave you here. Hubby's gonna go detecting and he's using my detector because I don't want to go detecting for gold here because there's so many beautiful rocks to pick up look at this one. Oh my goodness look at that oh that would look so beautiful hang on we put it down with the succulents isn't it that will make a beautiful arrangement for a succulent pot look at that gorgeous i already got one in the car another beautiful piece but i can't pick up the really big one like that one here look at this one this will look beautiful in my garden as well but i can't take this because this is too big too heavy i wish i could take that but so this is what i do when i go in the bush detecting for gold i mostly look for rocks I just use detecting for gold as an excuse, but it's an excuse for me to go find some pretty rocks. Even that one, look. If only I could take them all, but I can't. So look at the beautiful red. 
uh, sort of more purple than red. Like, that is absolutely beautiful. It's like a work of art. My bag is still empty here. That's still nothing because I don't know which one to take. Now this one, this is just a piece of shale. The pattern is beautiful, isn't it? Look at that, just, just gorgeous. So I think I'm gonna take that, I think. Now this one, that's not really, but <laughs> it's still nice, but anyway. Look at that, oh, okay. Now this one, gorgeous. Some more dolerite on the whatever concretions this is. Anyway, should I keep you? You look really pretty. Yeah, I'll keep you. But this one, I don't know whether I should keep this or not. Because the minute it gets big, I can't really take it with me. But nah, I'm going to keep this. I'll keep that one. Okay, so one, two, three. Oh my goodness, look at that. Ah, gorgeous. See, look. It's just so pretty. Oh, even this one, but I'm not taking that one. I'm just showing you the different formations around here. Oh, even this one. See, look at that. See, how can you... Oh, look at the other side. How can you choose? Because I can't. I'm just going any, mini, money mo, and then I'll take this one and leave this one and whatever. <laughs> now, I have to show you this one. This one I'm going to take because it's only skinny. See, look at that. See, that's beautiful. On succulent arrangement, imagine just that thing sticking out. And even this one's here, look, that's, that's just so pretty. This one, I think I like that one because it's only small. Okay, so I go by the weight. I can't take anything big and heavy. That is just absolutely gorgeous. Piece of shale, probably talc with it. So I'm not sure whether it's quite soft or hard, Yep, it's quite soft, so I'd say that's talc. So basically, and look at that, beautiful, beautiful. Now this one is a showstopper. Look at that. It's like the Temple of Doom. But anyway, so this one is definitely a taker or a keeper. I'm not leaving this behind, I'm taking that home. Oh my goodness, look, it's so beautiful. Look at that, gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous piece of rock. Piece of Mother Nature's art. Look at the pattern, number eight, so it's a lucky rock. La la la, lucky, <laughs> look at that. It's like some hieroglyphics. Could I call this hieroglyphic rock? The hieroglyphic, the hieroglyphic rocks? No, we can call these fairy rocks. Oh, gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. I like gorgeous and beautiful because that's all I could use to do. Oh, look at that one. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, look at that. See the top of the troopy? It's empty. I can put 300 kilos on top of that. <laughs> so I'm collecting rocks and we're still gonna collect some petrified wood as well. Go, that's my stash. I already picked up some earlier as well. But I just need a couple of little a uh, holy one. Ones with holes that I can put like a little cup, even that one. My goodness gracious me, how can I say no to you? I can't take that because it's really big. But look how beautiful, oh my god! Oh. <gasps> look at that, beautiful, hey? Hey, well, I have to take this one. No, I'm taking that one. <laughs> so I can have something growing in, oh, there's a big hole here on the side, look. Oopsie. Beautiful. Okay, I'm gonna keep you. It's a very windy day. Sun's out. The warmth of the sun is nice on my skin. I'm in the corner here where in the wind is blowing the right way for me to sort out the rocks that I gathered. Beautiful. That would make a beautiful pot for succulents it's ready ready look at that gorgeous and these are some that i've gathered as well makes beautiful pots look at that this 